you needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Open video, guys. And today, we're going to be going over what you should be doing with your coins. So, obviously, if you've watched any of today's videos, part two has come out. We got the new sets. We've done a lot of things already today. So, I should have about four videos for you guys coming today. A way to beat house rules, um, the way to complete the set cheap, and most likely the content video. And then hopefully if all goes right, then we should have this video done for you guys. So, sorry about yesterday, first and foremost, because I didn't get to do as many videos as I like. I came home yesterday morning. I went to go take a quick little 30 minute nap at like 7 in the morning before I started my videos. I woke up, it was 10.35, I jumped on the stream, I was very behind. I really messed up yesterday, then I had school, so before you know, I my whole, my whole schedule was messed up, I only got two videos for you guys out yesterday, sorry about that. Today, you expect four. But before we get into this video guys, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification, come join the family boys. It's getting pretty crazy around here, you guys have been showing tremendous support, it's like every day, just something, we keep growing, I, it's incredible, thank you guys so much. Make sure to go down below, comment what you're currently doing with your coins. And what you think the best way to go about this is i have my methods obviously but let me know what you guys got and if you haven't already go down below and hit that like button boys let's get this video to 200 likes all the ogs all this all the subs the loyals the everyone the new you guys have been killing it absolutely killing it with the support lately thank you so much for just drop a like on the video it means it goes a long way guys but let's get into this video so first things first as of today the new peyton manning set should be out in the game i'm obviously pre-recording this before but it should be out in the game it should follow a similar format to the ray lewis set so it should be in it's a ratio right so let's say the cards the set cards go for 300k each typically the master card will go for about two 200k less than what it costs to do the set so if they cost 300k each that'll be 900k to complete the set Paid Manning should be selling for 700k, but that's not gonna happen. They should come down pretty cheap again. We have the house rules again. People have a ton of coins, a lot of training right now, a lot of bats. So I anticipate again, if you give it like a few days, or even off the rope, because I don't know how people, how interested people are in Paid Manning. At least they were more interested in Ray Lewis. Payton should go for about 350, 400k when all is said and done, and the set piece should be about 250. So once again, the method that I'm gonna uh, employ out later should be similar to the other one I did, where you can essentially get Payton Manning. For really really cheap or you can get two nats for free i'll go over all that in the video obviously but what do you want to be doing with your coins so i recommend doing that set so we got travis frederick obviously i think that's a dub travis frederick's good and dama kung su is good denzel ward is good they're all three good nat cards you might want to have so you could potentially do that set and sell all paid man and keep them now the issue is is denzel ward better than the cornerbacks we have in the game right now i don't know i think i might rather have pat pete it all really comes down to what i decide to do with my team but i definitely want frederick I definitely, I mean, I don't want Sue that thing. I mean, I could put Sue at defensive tackle. He'd be a beastly defensive tackle. So it all depends on the price of the set, obviously. I'm going to go over everything with you guys when the time comes. Peyton Manning, is he worth getting you spending your coins on? Um, I don't think so. Peyton Manning is Andrew Luck without a skate artist, essentially, and I don't think it's worth it. I think Peyton Manning is a, uh, I think you steer clear of him. You could get him for cheap and then sell him and make coins. You could get some, you could sell him and then keep the Nats. There's a lot of ways to go about that. Don't get me you wrong. His set's very useful. But as far as your coins, you have tons of coins now. People have been hopefully been building your coin stacks. Wait for the towards the end of the promo. Towards the end of the promo, everything's gonna be at its cheapest. Bat's gonna be at its cheapest. Uh, make sure you're holding your cards still. I think that just wait, just give it a few more days. I think something with bats could potentially come out like a blitz or something. I think CC and people have like 200,000 bats. They're saving just in case. Don't sell yet because everything is very cheap. Wait a little bit. Wait a few more days. So really scout out the scout out the market. So obviously, if you go, I'm gonna go to sets because that's the easiest way to really click into these. These cards are coming back up in price slightly. So like I said, when they were like 220, I said don't sell them yet. They have to come back up. They're too cheap. These are like 220, 230. They're coming up slowly. If they can get back to like the 260 range, you could potentially sell them and make an extra 20, 30k than you would have made before. And also, you also have that security blanket of having bats on deck in case you can just go quick sell them real quick. Uh, but I still recommend doing this set. Things are kind of getting a little more expensive. If you have the cards ready, you've been thinking about it. I personally love Ray Lewis. I think Ray Lewis is a monster. I powered him up. I'm a big real life fan of Ray Lewis. I actually have his jersey. It used to hang up right behind me, but I have it in the closet now. I should get a jersey up again. I had a Stanton jersey there, but I kind of moved it. But back to the point. These cauldron guys, um, if you would I recommend making any of them with your coins? Vita Bay, not really. Anthony Barr, he's okay. I mean, maybe I'll make him actually because I did want to replace Von Miller. It all depends on Barr's zone. I really got to look into that. And then Michael Thomas, uh, I don't think he's worth it. I'm a real, I'm a huge fan of Michael Thomas in real life, but they really botch his stats, man. I feel bad. I feel bad for every Saints fan, quite honestly. They botch Drew Brees' stats every year. 
They botch Alvin Kamara stats and they botch Michael Thomas stats. If you're a Saints fan, I truly apologize. They never get your team right. And then Lattimore apparently can't cover at all either. It's, it's great. But anyways, so if you guys have your coin stacks up, I'd wait a few more days for the auction to come back up a little bit. Just wait a little bit. If you don't, if you're selling, obviously. If you have the coin stack ready, uh, I'd wait because if there's something with bats, everything's going to change tremendously. And again, so I'm skeptical, right? So we have the scary sharp set master and the scary strong set master. People are saying we're not going to get a scary fast. Maybe that's true. I don't entirely know, but I did feel kind of weird. But there should be more limited times coming. There should be a few more things in this promo. So make sure you're saving your coins in case. And remember, once this promo is up, we got we got Thanksgiving on deck and everything. So if you don't, if you're not really feeling it, right? So I personally think these three cards, Lockett, Cameron, or Thomas, as a whole, wasn't worth it. I still think Lockett's a beast. I still kind of want him. His after the catch stats are amazing. Good juke, good spin. But as a whole, I think the strong was underwhelming. Although, although you could get Ray Lewis, who's a beast. Now the sharp, I only like Frederick. And Denzel Ward's pretty good, and Sue's pretty good, but again, for my team, that one's a little bit better. If there is a fast one, we, that remains to be seen, but for the time being, I, I think a lot of this has been underwhelming, so if you guys aren't a fan of the cards, just keep making coins. Keep keep flipping your bats, keep rolling, keep keep making coins, and then cash out. I'm going to cash out on my power-ups, I'll probably end up with like 2.5 million coins, 3 million coins, and then I'll go into Thanksgiving, waiting for my Barry Sand, I've been waiting waiting for this Barry Sanders. I know, I know it's coming. I'm going to get my Barry Sanders, my Ladain, my, not my Ladainian Thompson, so my Barry Sanders, my Lawrence Taylor, and I'm going to get the hell out of that promo. Maybe a Tyree Kill if it comes. I want Tyree Kill, the uh, Lawrence Taylor, and Barry Sanders from the Thanksgiving promo. I imagine between Blitz and that and Black Friday, it should come out, guys. I'll maybe even rip packs for Black Friday, depending on the Blitz promo, but that's kind of what I'm, that's kind of what I'm banking on at this point, hoping for that. But like I said, guys, it might be time to cash out, but not yet. I think that it's time to start thinking about cashing out, essentially. So, would I keep the cards at the moment? Yes. I think as you guys are going to ask me that, should you keep? I would keep for now because things are obviously on the rise. And then remember, nothing should bring it back down. The only thing that will bring it back down is if they drop packs that guarantee you five masters in one pack. Like, you know what I'm saying? Something crazy about to come out. The only thing that could potentially come out for this promo is a blitz with bats or something with bats. And if that was to happen, it would increase the value of bats, which essentially would bring everything up. So if you have cards hold, if you don't have cards, you could still buy. They're not that expensive. And obviously, things are going to drop today. More packs, things might come back down for a little bit. So I think it's just worthwhile to hold. Because remember, even if you don't sell them at the end of the promo, at the end of the promo, they will come. those cards convert to training. So they'll be 92 overalls with a training value of like, what, like 8,000, 7,000, 6,000, whatever it is. So pretty much, they're going to be going for, like, they're going to be worth about 350k so they should they're gonna go up no matter what so you can essentially hold on to them no matter what if bats come out if there's a bat set that needs bats that's crazy good your cards skyrocket in price if they don't they go to training they skyrocket in price i would just hold hold for now buy have fun with you could really that's the beauty of training right now is that you could have fun with promo cards that's the one thing madden did i don't know if they intentionally did it you could have fun with promo cards because they're always cheaper than their training value so at the end of the promo they were always rise in price last year ed reed all those guys rose in price you can expect that so enjoy the rest of the promo and then towards the end when things convert and you don't want them anymore sell them off and come into the thanksgiving promo with a coin stack like obviously we're near the end i unless they drop a scary speed uh, scary speed set we're pretty much we have a few days left to halloween about six seven days that should be the rest of the promo the cards will enrage we'll enjoy all of that hopefully a few more cool solos but as a whole what would i recommend going to thanksgiving with and ending this promo with i think you want a million coins i think a million coins because you know lawrence taylor is going to cost 600k you know that Barry Sanders is going to cost 600k. We we know this already. So if you guys want any of those cards, I highly recommend you start building that stack now. Like I said, it's guaranteed value. These cards right here are guaranteed value. They have to come up. In my opinion, they just have to. 92 overalls, unless they screw us this year and they don't convert to training. But even then, a 92 overall card will not go for that cheap. To show you guys what I'm referencing here, if you go over to 92 overalls and I show you what they go for, 92 overalls stock are obviously those are now, but now stock without that, they're going for 419k. That is their training value. 92 overalls. So pretty much, Ray Lewis and all these cards should rise somewhere near 300 to 5, somewhere between 300 and 400k. I won't say 500k for Ray Lewis because I just don't know, but I think it will definitely, it'll either bring down the top end or it'll bring up the bottom end, which are these cards. Like I said, just enjoy them, have fun with them. You really can't go wrong with these cards. I think there's just too much, there's too much promise. And then if they do all rise up, you sell them, make like an extra 150k per card. And then come Thanksgiving, you guys are balling out with millions of coins and you can go enjoy the Lawrence Taylor and Barry Sanders. I'm calling it. They're going to be a Lawrence Taylor and Barry. I'm going to upgrade my Lawrence Taylor. I'm going to get my crazy Barry Sanders. I'm going to have Saquon and Barry in the backfield. It's going to be over. I'm super hyped for that, guys. But that is about it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for all the crazy support as of late. You guys have been complete. You guys have been awesome, guys. Uh, I have to get this. I, I want to get a Halloween costume. I know I made you guys vote on that. I want to get one. I have a few ideas. I just haven't acted on it yet. One requires paint, and I really don't like paint on my face. But I'm going to think about it. 
Uh, and I don't want to really wear a mask. I'll probably die with all these lights around me. So I have to really think about what I'm going to do here. But thank you guys for watching. I'll think about that. Uh, if you guys did enjoy, make sure to go down below. Hit that subscribe button, boys. Turn on that noti bell. And if you haven't already, make sure to comment down below. Let me know what you're doing with your coins. And make sure to like that video. If you guys are OGs, loyal, whatever, best way to show support is liking the video. Let's get this video to 200 likes. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.